Hey honey badgers. Today I have my first Mooney Maid order. Hopefully I'm saying that right. I found out that they were doing uh, diamond paintings recently. So uh, I was curious what their diamond painting quality was like. So I made a little purchase. Only ordered one. Um, for those of you that are familiar with Mooney Maid, I didn't buy any trays this time. Uh, I just wanted to see what the diamond painting quality was like. You'll have to forgive my voice in this video. Um, <laughs> I was around somebody recently and uh, asked them, they were coughing and stuff, and I, and they kept telling me, oh, it's just allergies. I'm like, are you sure it's just allergies? I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's just allergies. I don't think it was just allergies because now I woke up today with a sore throat and the hot face and the pressure on the bridge of my nose and all that stuff, and it's been gradually escalating, so I don't think it was just allergies. <laughs> so yeah, before we get into that, I guess I would just make a quick little PSA for anyone listening. If you have a friend who has autoimmune disease and they ask you to specify if it's just allergies, we're not trying to get up in your business. Uh, we're trying to protect our immunocompromised ass. It's not, <laughs> it's not personal. We're just trying to stay out of the hospital. Uh, I think I'm going to be fine though. But uh, yeah, if my voice gets a little bit scratchy in this. That's why. So anyway, this is what came in the package. When you go on Mooney Made um, and you find a canvas you like, there are um, options on there. You can pick, uh, I think there's a pull down menu on whatever you pick and it'll ask you, do you want a dust cover bag? Do you want um, a toolkit? They give you the option to leave the toolkit off if you don't want it. Uh, I think there's also an option to upgrade if you do want one of the, um, more deluxe Mooney made trays put in your order. I think it, I forget what it is. I think it's like uh, five or $10. I can't remember now. They have some deal on there where it's like five or $10 upcharge or a $25 bundle deal or something like that, where you can add it onto your canvas and you can get one of the Mooney made um, deluxe trays added to your order for an upcharge. Um, I didn't do any of that. Uh, I just wanted the canvas just to to see what it was like because I saw this one image on there and I was like oh it's cute so yeah I ordered or I opted to leave off the dust bag and the toolkit and all that stuff so it's just the canvas here um, so this is what came with the package you get a little um, advert card it'll have all their social media stuff on there if you want to look them up I just went to their website. That's, um, for those of you not familiar, that's what their deluxe trays look like um, that they're known for. And then they give you a thank you card. And I thought this was really sweet on the back. So that's a nice touch. And then when I was um, unwrapping this and taking it out of the the bigger cardboard box that came in. I wasn't expecting this to be in there and it sort of like popped out like that. <laughs> and it was like, um, oh, what is that called? Oh, uh, when it's like pressurized <laughs> and it flew out at me and I didn't, you know, obviously I wasn't expecting it in there. All I saw was wings and for a second I freaked out because I was like, oh God, a bug got in the box. Um, but no, that's, it was very cute that this um, was in there. I think that it's supposed to be a little light, but I'm pretty sure the batteries on mine are no good um, but that's okay this is still really cute and um there's a thing on there so you crafty people you could always turn this into a cover minder probably um so there's that these are the drill bags which i'll you know they have the looks like they have the dmc codes on them i as you can see there i got a 40 by 40 um i'll get into those in a second anyway this is the canvas here and that's the image I got, which I believe is called Hang In There, if I remember right. Um, yeah, it's on the tag, actually. <laughs> if I just looked on Hang In There by Cute But Weird. So yeah, it's a little bumblebee image. Um, and I think I mentioned in one of my um, blog posts uh, before, not on the channel here, but on my diamond, one of my diamond painting blog posts, I had done... It was around the time that uh, Queen Elizabeth passed. I had done a uh, God Save the Queen B image that I had already had in my stash. But uh, when, after she passed, I thought it was kind of appropriate to pull that out. And I mentioned in that, that post, I think, that I wasn't the biggest B canvas person. But 
Um, every so often I'll find one that's sort of cute and um, attracts my attention. Give me just a second to unravel this a little bit better and I'll come back. Okay, here we go. That's a little better. <laughs> All right, so wrapped into the canvas, you get a um, welcome and instruction sheet with the Mooney Made brand thing on there. Uh, and then you also get your um, inventory sticker sheet. So it has the pull-off labels you can stick on your, um, um, <laughs> what's the word, that you can stick on your um, <clears throat> drill containers. There we go. <laughs> Drill containers. Uh, if you want to put this, you can cut this down and put it in your logbook. If you do logbooks, you can put an end and start date there. But yeah, that's the name of it. Hanging there by Cute But Weird. It's a close up of the image. It's a very uh, cute, sweet, almost kawaii um, looking style, which is what appealed to me. Uh, <laughs> for some reason, like I don't mind the look of bees in the wild, like actual bees, but for some reason, artistic illustration of bees with the detail and everything, for some reason, they just, they creep me out a little bit with like all the antenna and legs and stuff. Um, even though I know it's like, it's more realistic. I don't know, for some reason in art, when it makes it super realistic, I'm like, it's, it's a lot of sharp edges. For some reason, it's easier on me when they're like cute little little cartoon bees. I think what got me about this one was just the expression on this one of like he's just doing his thing and then he's like oh uh you seem to have caught me in a moment um <laughs> and then you know his little accomplice face over here like hey what's, what's up uh, <laughs> yeah just like those moments when you walk into something that you feel like you probably shouldn't have walked into and everybody's looking at you and you're looking at them and they're looking at you <laughs> So yeah, this is a, I think I said 40 by 40, comes with the DMC printed on both sides of the canvas and you get your little reference image up there. So let's take a look here. It's, uh, it is licensed. So I believe everything on Mooney Made, they don't have a ton of kits over there, but I believe everything they have over there is licensed. Um, so that's all marked down there. Um, as far as the, the canvas goes, my impression on the canvas is, oh, I just noticed it's one of the, I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up. There we go, a little bit. It is one of those sparkle type canvases. Um, but the um, canvas itself is, I would say, sort of mid-range. Um, it does have the felted back and it does have the surged edge. But the um, it's not like crazy soft. Um, as far as like the whole canvas, it's got that sort of plasticky coating, which is not a problem for me. I'm just like making comparisons to, you know, the different levels of canvas. Um, for me, that's, it's just like the nicer canvas or whatever. It just, it's nice when you're working on it. For me, it doesn't really make a huge difference. Um, when you go to like actually do the image or uh, frame it or anything, it's just like a nice thing you know it's like a perk when you're working on it um a lot of times as long as the image is printed well i don't really care what it's printed on at least in my experience it doesn't make that huge a difference as far as like art quality quality the image itself from my experience is going to be more about how clear the image is printed uh, what kind of what quality of drills you're getting that sort of thing um, the canvas is just a nice thing but for those that are curious, I thought I would just make a comparison that is sort of like mid-range. So it's it's sort of like not super soft, not crazy stiff, just kind of middle middle of the road nice. But the image is printed really nice. Um, the drill field is really clear. I'll try to get through the glare of my over light here. Overhead light, there we go. Words! Um, you might have a little bit of trickiness, maybe, in that one section of the B. The M's look a little bit dark. That's really the only spot I'm seeing on here that might give trouble, because, like, the darker green areas, those are all fine. Um, trying to see. I mean, this is mostly a light-colored canvas, so I don't think you're going to have that many 
dark patches on here because it's supposed to be sort of light and airy and cartoony. Yeah, as far as I can tell, scanning over this, that one spot on the bee is the only section I would think might give some trouble. Um, usually with canvases, what I do is if I find a spot like that that might look problematic, I usually just knock that out first if it's an easy spot to get to. I mean, that might not be the easiest thing to do if you're working on a super large canvas. <laughs> if you're just starting on one, obviously it's not that easy to just go to the middle of a massive canvas and just, you know, try to escape touching all, all of the exposed glue just to get to that one spot. But if you work on this smaller size, like the 30 by 40 or 40 by 40, it's not that that hard usually um, to just knock that out real quick and then you don't have to worry about it and then your canvas, uh, all your problem areas are out of the way. So yeah, that's the, the image. Uh, it does come with one AB. There's a little, just a, not a ton of it in here, but I mean, it's only a 40 by 40. It's enough to make it interesting. Um, so yeah, it's mostly going to go in the flowers, I'm guessing, and maybe in the sky. Let me see. All the check marks are ABs. So, okay, so there's a little bit up in the sky there, a little bit in the flowers. Is there any in the bee themselves? There's a few little drills of AB in the bee's butt, it looks like. A little bit in his flower friend. And a few down on the ground. So they're scattered out really nicely. Oh, and there's some on the leaves of this flower uh, so yeah and you know there's always opportunity to up you know not upgrade what am I talking about <laughs> put in your own that's what I was going for my brain's a little extra foggy right now so bear with me uh, so let's get into what the other drills look like because I think that was the only a B in this one let me show you all of this looking over the drills when I had the camera off um, the drills don't look bad. They don't look, again, it's sort of like middle of the road. Um, they don't look crazy shiny, but they do have some shine. They look more rounded off. Um, it doesn't look like there's as many facets on these. So you're probably going to get a little bit of a smoother look on this one, which is still nice. It's just, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying it's different. It's a different style. Um, Trying to get a close-up of that. Well, let's we'll see if we can get one that's a little bit easier to see. There you go. So you can see it's kind of more smoother looking. Um, so let me stretch them out here. So you got some of that minty white green. That seems to be in a lot of kits I'm working on lately. Um, got, uh, no surprise, there's going to be a lot of oranges and yellows in this. Um, and there's also going to be a fair amount of these sort of neutral colors. Girl, focus. There we go. Okay. Some taupey looking neutrals. Um, trying to <laughs> do it a little bit by color family here. Um, okay. Sorry about the glare, guys, but I have limited spaces and times I can film around here. Um, at least right now. Okay. All right. So for those of you that dread 310, this is the only 310 you got to worry about. Um, it's probably going to go in the eyeballs area, I'm guessing, and then maybe dotted in some of the shading. But I think this is mostly just for the eyeballs. So that's it. If you have a thing about 310. <laughs> uh, there's a little bit of 154. I think that's going to be your bordering color here. That's sort of uh, that kind of wine color. There's also this one that's sort of in between a uh, purpley brown tone kind of. And then this one, which is a little bit lighter. You got a little bit of green for the leaves. So 
So we got some of that. Some of this. I usually relate that green more to like beachy type uh, campuses, but it's kind of nice that it's in this one. Okay, then you got all your oranges over here. So you got that. A lot of these are kind of more low-key oranges, but there's a few bright ones in here. I like that one. That's sort of a, it's almost like one of those like earth tone type oranges. And then you got this bright one. Oh, and then there's this one. And that's it for your, oh, nope. And then this one over here. <laughs> uh, there's quite a bit of this one. So I'm guessing this is going to be the bulk of the shading in a lot of this. Okay. And then, like I said, you get a whole bunch of neutrals and then some um, light blues for the sky and then that minty green so that's basically your your palette you're working with um, not super complicated it's just super cute so I'll move all that out of the way so you can shut that clean all that up in a minute <laughs> uh, yeah I, I'll, I'll have to see if I want to um, throw in any more ABs into this. I don't know. Usually when I have starry skies, I tend to put a little bit extra up in there, but we'll see. Um, this is another one that I want to do pretty soon because I want to see quality wise, how the drills lay and all that. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll see. All right, guys. Uh, that's it for this one. I guess I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Go heal my throat. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.